Alright, hello guys and welcome back to EVE Online Incarna. I figured I'd go ahead and walk you guys through a mission. Connecting. Uh, going through a mission in EVE. And hopefully, I don't fail horribly. I have a message apparently, so that's cool. Oh, I am, and I am part of my new corporation in this video. Uh, the Crimson Horde. So you'll probably see me typing to them a little bit over there on the, uh, bottom right there, but I got a new mail probably from my corp. Yep. So we can take a look at this really quick. Oh, okay, that's just for uh, joining the mail listing. Alright, so I'm going to go on in and uh, switch ships here to my Thrasher. Um, I did outfit my Rifter, um, but I'm not going to use it for these missions. Agents. Now I haven't actually done anything for these agents yet, so I'm gonna start start anew here. All right, pick up a dignitary. All right, fine. I'll pick up a dignitary. This is probably gonna be like really easy. I didn't see where that was at. Hold on. It's in Noma. All right. So we're gonna head to Noma. Pick up a diplomat and then come back. <sighs> Righty. Now, still, I'm in my Thrasher. You'll probably notice some stuff down here is different. Uh, I did get some new modules since I last uh, tried uh, recording. So we're going to go to Noma right there. That's Stargate. We're going to warp to it. Warp drive active. And yeah, we're just gonna do this mission. This is a damage control module. Uh, I'll go ahead and show the info for this. Essentially, it improves your resistance to all kinds of good stuff, to your shields and to your armor and to your hull. So it, it basically turns you into a tank. So you can take more damage, which is pretty pretty nifty. And then I have a armor repair here. Show you that as well. Armor HP repaired is 80 HP per time it cycles. And it takes a bit of time to cycle, so you might be able to see it depending on how difficult this mission is. And generally, you do missions to gain um, to gain isk and to gain standing with the faction. Right now, I'm trying to gain standing with my corporation's faction, which is internal security. So now we'll go to that by going to the encounter and warping to the location. Warp drive active. And here we go. There's a really bright star right there. Look at that. I'm gonna warp right past it. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> Let's go ahead and close up Rookie Help here. Alright, we're here. Now we're gonna take the acceleration gate to the actual location. Warp drive active. And we are there. Okay, so we're just supposed to approach the medication center, which is this. We're approaching. It's in a more chapel. 
These are the Amon, by the way. Their ships have a similar design to this. Very, uh, I guess you could say, circular? <laughs> Cylindrical? I don't know. We'll go back to my ship now. They're probably jettison some sort of a capsule or something. Let me turn on my afterburner. My afterburner allows me to go a bit faster. About 115% faster, actually. So that's good to know. Oh, looks like we have a attacker here. So now you'll be able to see your first bit of EVE combat, which should be pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. What's this? My journal just got updated. Okay, we reached the location. Oh, there's the cargo container that we're supposed to pick up. But I'm going to take out this uh, Borman first. If I can. Oh, wow, he's got some good range. Oh, he's got a rail gun, that's why. No rail gun me, bro? Oh, I need to lock on. I haven't played, I haven't actually had combat in a while. I forgot to lock on to him. There we go. Damage control. And we will, said, inhibit him. There we go. Now he's actually moving much slower. So we're going to warp to him. Activate our weapons and he will quickly go down he's actually has a thrasher as well as you can see we are much more prefer prepared to handle him though look at how fast we're going compared to him he's like a slug and we're just circling around him it's because of my afterburner and he has a he has a propulsion propulsion inhibitor on him Let's go ahead and approach the cargo cargo container. Actually, that's or let's just uh, orbit it at 1,000 meters. All right. Apparently, we have some new members here in our, to our corporation. You gotta do this. There we go. We're approaching our cargo container. We can turn off our damage control module. I'm going to reload all these two. Alright. Open up our cargo hold to prepare for the transfer. I still have that. We don't really need condensed alloy. I think it was a mission that I didn't complete. Alright, and here we go. Got our diplomat. Now we can head back to point in. Warp drive active. Another thing you'll notice is that we warp straight through stations without even worrying about getting hurt. I think it's pretty large, isn't it? Whee! <laughs> yeah, that's interesting about it, about it, but... <clears throat> so, this makes them go slower. This makes me go faster. This increases my capacitor recharge. This center thing here is the capacitor. It's basically your power. If you run out, if you run out of power, you cannot power these modules. This is my armor repair, and this is the damage control module. Quickly go here. Uh, now I'll explain Ooh, these three uh, bars here. Okay. This, this outer bar is your shields. You'll notice that they were going down while he was attacking me. They are the first line of defense. 
The second bar is your armor. I am an armor tank, so I have a small armor repair. So that's my main line of defense. And then you'll have your actual hull, or your structure status. If this runs out, you die and you get potted. And then you'll have to run away before they can kill your pod, or else you'll die completely. And you'll have to either reclone yourself or lose all of your skill points. And you, didn't out, and you do not want to use, lose all of your skill points or else you have to retrain everything all over again. Which is a bad thing, because training takes a lot of time. And in this game, you do not want to lose time, or else it'll set you back by a ton amount, a ton of training time. So, stop. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Let's turn in this mission to Kishida. Let's request another mission. Maybe I can get two in on this video. Apparently there's a cult. Traitors and murderers who are working to bring the downfall of all we hold dear. It's the end of the world! Alright, so we're supposed to pick up some reports. And bring them to back here, okay? That's pretty easy, isn't it? Alright. Now we have to make sure that that cargo is in our hold. By checking our cargo hold. And it. Oh, wait. We have to pick it up. Dur. Okay. Where do we have to pick it up from? We have to pick it up from Otella? Yep, Otella. Expert housing. So wallet. Good deal. Okay. So we're going to Otella to pick up some cargo and bring it back. It's pretty simple. Oops. Uh, Otella. Whoop to. It's actually not too far away. It's right over there. Only nine million kilometers away. See how fast this station just disappears. Gone. <laughs> this? Someone linked something. Oh, this guy's in Ishisomo. And they've arrived at the Stargate. And you do not have to be in a particular um, location or a particular formation to jump in the Stargate. You just have to be within a certain distance. So it's not picky about that. Anyways, let's go on ahead and pick up from Otella 2. Warp drive active. You may notice all these chats that I have up. Um, this is for the Crimson Horde PvP. This is for the Crimson Horde Corporation completely, including the PvP Corporation and the Mining Division. And this is for just the Corporation that I'm in, which is uh, the Crimson Horde. Alright, so we're gonna dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. We're going to check the items, and we'll see we have 30 reports here. So let's uh, open up our cargo, grab those reports, and head back to Pornet. Once you get used to the interface, you'll get a lot faster at, you know, uh, making all these commands and going to the different areas. I've got it down pretty pretty well so far, so.
apparently we are going to start our first war on a Friday. A war deck, which is a war declaration. We will uh, declare war and start a bit of PvP. That'll be fun. I might record that as well. You can see me sucking and dying at PvP. Won't that be fun? Right, so let's go ahead and warp and drop off the reports that we just picked up. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. And complete. Voila. So I think that's going to um, conclude this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me go on and quickly show you uh, the corp hanger which is full of top secret stuff. Oh, you didn't see anything. Ha, <laughs> suckers. Anyways, yeah, so, check our journal. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm definitely going to make some more of these, so, uh, like or subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think of the videos. Thanks, guys. Hope you uh, have a good one. Bye.